do this every morning to start your day off right and have the coolest and best life ever. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I am here to help you banish your negative thinking, cut out your self-limiting doubts, and manifest every dream that you have for your life. So this is kind of part two from yesterday's video about what to do every night to start priming your mind for like just the most amazing magic to happen in your world. So this is the next morning. Our day starts the night before because if we go to bed mad, we're going to wake up with bad thoughts. We're going to wake up spiraling on the stuff we hate about ourselves. We're going to wake up thinking about our looks and the bills we got to pay, the fight we got in, the work we got to go to, the car that doesn't have gas, whatever. So we want to start at night so that we're going to sleep, which is like a super long meditation session basically with good thoughts and we're vibrating on positivity and good things as we sleep and our vibrations wherever we last left it. So when we wake up in the morning, we're on high vibrations already. So before we get into it, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. It helps us reach more people and everyone deserves to know that they are in control of their lives at all moments. And if you need help meditating and finding out how to kind of get to that sweet spot, I have a free meditation guide that is included in the description below. Go ahead and click below for my free meditation guide. So the first thing you want to do in the morning before you even open your eyes, this is like the very first moment that you have awareness that you're like awake and you're like in a human body again. That very first moment before you even open your eyes, I want you to bring in your scene from the night before or your affirmations or whatever it is that you're working on. Even just a snapshot or an idea of what you're trying to embody, what you are becoming a vibrational match to, love, abundance, comfort, freedom, joy, excitement, even just like laying there and like relishing in how comfortable your bed is. You just wanna start your day on those good feeling thoughts. Just like bring them up first thing before you even open your eyes. And then when you start going about your, your morning routines, you know how you're kind of still half asleep? Keep playing it. You can be doing things so much on autopilot in the morning because you're like half asleep and half awake, which is, that's the sweet spot. That's how you get to your subconscious. So if you spend that time when you're like groggy and like maybe you're in the shower and you haven't quite woken up or you're making coffee or whatever, use that time to stay like in your brain state. And you you know, you do that stuff half awake anyways. So you can literally do it with your eyes closed or you can literally be in your scene, your new scene and not even realize that you're in the real world yet because you're, you're still in half brain. So that's like a really good time to insert your manifestation or to play your affirmations over and over because you're still in that half sleep state and stay there as long as you can before you really have to start paying attention to life. Another thing thing that's really, I know this is going to be hard for people, but if you can go like as long as possible without checking your phone, <laughs> that is like, it, it will help because as soon as we look at our phones, we are like slammed back into reality. Like as soon as we pick that up and start looking at the alarms we have set, the calendar for the day, all the text messages, or none of the text messages we got, none of the callbacks, a text we hoped we were gonna wake up to, but we didn't, a text we definitely didn't wanna wake up to, going down our feed and seeing someone's bullshit that we don't wanna see, going down our feed and seeing someone who maybe makes us feel jealous. We don't wanna do that first thing in the morning, so if you can avoid your phone like as long as possible, I would, I would try that. And another thing that you want to do every day is take a moment to breathe, focus, remind yourself of your power, remind yourself that you're the creative force in your world. And even though this world seems real and our reality seems real, it's not. And we are 100% in control of it at all times. All the circumstances around us, all the limitations, all of the 3D everything, all of the, the feelings of what we can and can't do, those don't exist. We hold all of that in place. Your circumstances, your limitations, they don't exist and they don't have to affect you if you don't give them life. So just remind yourself every day, you're the one making it all happen. Everything is responding to you. Greet the day with enthusiasm and love and joy. Acknowledge the universe or your higher power by name. Tell them you appreciate them being here with you on this journey. Remind yourself of your divine power and how infinite you are. 
how beautiful you are, how funny, how smart, how kind, how caring, how exciting, whatever it is, you tell yourself that you're that. There's nothing wrong with doing that, okay? So don't feel like it's not possible. Just do it. Just force yourself to do it. Even if you don't believe it at first, just keep doing it, okay? It's important that you use repetition because we are creatures of habit, and the longer that we do something, the more we do something, the more habitual it becomes. New neural pathways are formed and we're able to rewire our brains, okay? So that's gonna help you get started on a good day. You're gonna be up here instead of down here. So if anything does happen, any past manifestations do pop in your reality that throw you off. If you're up here and you get thrown off, you're only going down here. If you start here when you get thrown off, you're done. So don't forget that. You are amazing. You can have any awesome reality that you want for yourself. You can also have any terrible reality that you don't want for yourself, okay? The choice is up to you. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Like, share, and comment so we can reach as many people as possible. And check out the other playlists and videos so that you can become a manifestation master.